Greetings, one and all. Welcome back to the RP Geeks. I'm the Sonic Geek. Here with me again is Opine Man. Oh, hi. And it's time for more Persona 4. Oh, yeah. We're pointing the finger at Adachi. <laughs> Love that corner of music for Phoenix, right? Yep. Oh, hi, Teddy. <laughs> Teddy. Hey, man. How you doing? This. Seems you've come to the Velvet Rooms in Velvet Room in your dreams again. Something is different this time. You don't see Igor or Margaret. Teddy is sitting here, not noticing your presence. Where am I? Sensei? Why are you here? I could ask you the same thing. I see. How mysterious. There are so many things I don't know about. But Welcome I to the did club, realize Jenny. something. I thought you were going to say very mysterious. I've been thinking all this time <laughs> about who I really am, but I couldn't find the answer. I was no one from the start. Humans live in the other world, and shadows live in this world. From the beginning, that's all there was to it. I was just a shadow in that world. I figured something out. That day at the hospital, I realized that I really can't do anything. As soon as I thought that, I lost consciousness. Then when I woke up, I was inside the fog. Shadows can't stay in the human world. They aren't allowed. I walked and walked, but there was nothing all around me. Just when I started thinking that I couldn't go anywhere, I heard the noise of a car. And then I was here. I remember lots of things now. My world is a place shaped by human thoughts. One day, a shadow living in that world awakened to human emotions. But humans and shadows are completely different entities. So he made himself forget that he was a shadow. He wanted to forget. He wanted people to like him. And that's how he came to look like this. Hmm. <laughs> I really am stupid. What the other Teddy said before, in the end, it was all true. No matter how much I search for myself, I have no self. There was no me to begin with. I'm just a shadow that took a different form so humans would like me. It would have that been is better if I had never remembered, but I did. Well, probably turn back to a regular shadow soon. Oh yeah, Sensei, one day, when you meet Nana-chan in heaven, apologize for me. Poor Teddy. Tell her, oh, I'm sorry I couldn't do anything. Tell her, I'm really sorry. Huh? Really? Told Teddy about how Nanako came through. Nana chance. Wow. That's wonderful. I'm so glad. Glad that I could at least hear that. <laughs> My heart feels so much lighter now. I'm starting to feel sleepy. What a strange place. It feels As a reminder, so this is the Velvet Room. It's not nothing, like my There's world. nothing that happens here that isn't Something tied to its guest's feels space. so nostalgic about <laughs> this place. Could this be your dream world, Sensei? Something like that. Aha. Uh -huh. But I wonder why I met you here. What am I supposed to do now? Come back to us, Teddy. I don't know what to look for, or how to find it. No matter how hard I think, there's too many things my little brain can't understand. But I do understand one thing now. I'm glad that I met you, Sensei. You can sense Teddy's pure and deep gratitude. Hmm. 
Hmm. Yeah, he is now max rank. Oh, nice. You still upon the, the ability to create Hellel, the ultimate form of the Star Arcana. But I have to get going. This is your place. It doesn't seem like somewhere that I'd be allowed to stay. Goodbye, Sensei. Oh, Teddy. He'll be back. Before you know it, Teddy is gone and Igor and Margaret are sitting there once again. Oh. Hmm. Hi. It seems the words in your memory weren't the only things you summoned here. This is a room for guests who have an ego that can be nurtured. Shadows, mere fragments broken off from the ego, have no place here. The water strength has moved a single stone that had stopped, returning it once again into the flow. Mmm, very interesting. <laughs> Igor has a meaningful smile on his face. Well, Igor always has a smile on his face. It's about time oh, we yeah. it once again. This vehicle is still on its journey. There is no reason to tarry here for long, Margaret. Resuming navigation. We're ready to go. Let us depart. <laughs> ah, you are every inch the guest I had anticipated. Now it's time for you to return. <laughs> I am even more intrigued now as to where this is all headed. We'll be waiting for your next visit. Oh yeah. Back into the real world. Yep. Oh god. Enough time. <laughs> UNAS Electronics Department. How did it go? Did you find Teddy? No, and no one's seen him either. Oh, that annoying little furball! Just when we're at a turning point in the case, too. We have no choice. Let's pursue Adachi for now. Then, inside the TV world... Shoo! Look how dense this fog is. It's gotten even worse than before. What the fuck? Uh, there's this malicious aura everywhere. It feels completely different from the last time I was here. Yeah, this I think fog is intense. Hurry. Give yeah. me a sec to try finding a dachi. Does this mean both this world and ours are getting messed up? Yep. Our glasses work on the fog on the other side. It can't be normal. And I heard more people are falling ill because of the fog. I wonder what's going to happen. I sense him. Adachi's definitely in here. Are you serious? Which way? Hold on. So he did come to this side. Well, that settles it. There's virtually no doubt remaining that he's the true culprit. Once we capture him, solving the mystery of this world and the rest of the case can't be far behind. Then maybe we'll find out where Teddy came from, too. Man, where is that bear, anyway? Well, I can say for sure he's not here. And I know Adachi is here, but I can't track him down myself. Gee, Ted, why aren't you here when we need you most? <laughs> then oh, back in the real world. Place. Huh. I see. Daddy's back. I'm back. But it really doesn't uh, matter. I'm completely uh, useless. Uh, you're not, Teddy. John, I'm so sorry. Teddy? He's hey. Awake. Else too. <laughs> N 
Nana-chan! Hold on! I'll get the doctor! It seems she's asleep again. Um... Nana-chan told me that she heard my voice. She heard me say, hang in there. It could be that her frankly miraculous recovery was because everyone's voices reached her. Even unconscious, people are capable of hearing others' voices. My voice. And theirs too. Everyone. In any case, there are too many things we don't understand about her condition and what caused it. We're doing our best. But it's difficult when everything about her illness is a total unknown. Unknown? Well, if anything happens, please send for me. If I'm an unknown being, then the way I can change is unknown too. So all I have to do is make them not unknown. Nana-chan's doing her best. Sensei and the others are probably fighting now too. I... I'm just a shadow. But Nana-chan cheered up when she heard my voice. So what if I'm just a shadow? There must be something I can do. I can't just give up thinking about things. That's why I came back here. Right, Nana-chan? There it is. There we go, he's got his own brain. A strong will that allowed him to accept and overcome his weakness has awakened his heart's true power. Daddy's persona has been reborn, and yes, Kintoki Doji has been trans transfigured into Kamui. And by the way, yes, it does look like it has a rocket sticking out of its ass. To get back to the yeah, that's why it's got a smile on its face. Did you see it? Hang in there, Nana -chan. <laughs> I'll be back soon. We can use your help, Teddy. It's no use. I can only tell that Adachi is here, not his exact location. Risei-chan. If only Teddy was with us. Didn't he say his nose is practically useless now? And could he even help us find that bastard? <laughs> nope. He'd be no help at all. But he was always there to support me whenever. <laughs> that bear's a loud mouth, but he's nice to have around. He's always so full of energy. He's lighthearted and always optimistic. I'm alright. I just got a little dizzy. The fog's so dense, it's hard to see through it. Why don't we call it a day? It won't do us any good if you collapse. I agree. If Risei-san became fatigued, even if we found Adachi, our capacity in battle would be reduced. Moreover, it's almost nighttime. We should return to our world for the present. Damn. Damn it! We came so far to run smack into a dead end! I know he's in there, too. What's wrong with me? My powers are completely useless! Teddy? Hey. Little Surprise, motherfucker! Where were you? <laughs> I'm sorry. You idiot! Bad bear! Bad! You're so late! Who do you think you are? <laughs> Um, Risei-chan? Are you faking? No, no stupid! Baka! Sorry, <laughs> I want to help you all again. You know how much trouble you caused, you dumb bear? Where the hell were you? Where the hell were you? Sorry, I figured out a lot of things. Stuff about me, and that world. I wanted to tell you all. Listen to Teddy's confession, since he finally understands who he really is. Hmm. He was only a shadow. That though he was at his wit's end, he was able to come back to your world. A shadow? You mean you're 
one of those things we've been fighting? Yep. Just like the ones you all know about. Shadows yeah, he has his own persona. Suppressed human thoughts given form. Everyone has them inside. Wait. You say you're a shadow, but you didn't attack us. And you kept telling us from the start that you wanted to bring peace and quiet back to that world, right? But in the end, I was just an ordinary shadow. Nothing special about me at all. I did everything I could until now to try and make my world peaceful. But instead, the weird fog started seeping out into this world, too. I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. If I really was special, then maybe... It's no big deal. I mean, we weren't expecting much from you in the first place. And about yeah. you being a shadow, <laughs> we pretty much figured you were something like that anyway. Huh? Wh what are you saying? Here I am, pouring my heart out to you, and you say you thought I was something like that anyway? No normal person would think such a pretty bear could really be a shadow! <laughs> There's the teddy we know and love. So what's the problem with yeah. being a shadow? It's true that you may have been born that way, but you now possess the power of persona. A shadow is suppressed power. Once controlled by the ego, it becomes a persona. Doesn't it follow, then, that you must have developed an ego? Whether the ego masters its shadow, or the shadow awakens to its ego, the only difference I see is the order in which the process occurred. Oh! Teddy's practically human, then! I'm the same as humans? He's just special. You keep That's trying all. to figure out who you mm -hmm. are. Just like all of us here. You can't do much on your own. You really aren't that special. See? What's so different between you and us? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you! I'm so glad I met you guys! The rest of us were pretty much a group of misfits to begin with, too, right? You fit pretty right in, much. man. Mm -hmm. I beg your pardon? Who are you calling oh. a misfit? <laughs> Sorry. Isn't that just you, Senpai? It's a figure of hey, speech. That's not something a detective would say. Or an idol, either. Gee, stop <laughs> crying, will ya? Now's not the time for that. While you were gone, we figured out who murdered the announcer and Senpai. It was Adachi. Huh? Adachi? That total goofball? Wow. When Teddy's you calling you a goofball, Looks like I'm pretty blind to that that's sort of something. Thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But you all know him. If you can't find someone like that, I don't think I can help you. Like I said, we're not expecting much from you. Well, the main thing is, it's hard to get pumped about this without someone nice and fuzzy around. <laughs> yeah, what Kanji said. That's why you're sitting next to him. Okay. Thanks, guys. All right. Now that the band's back together, let's take it from the top. Starting tomorrow. Oh, yeah. It's been a while, but I'll do my best to look for him, too. Leave it to Fuzzy. Leave it to Fuzzy. Take oh, another yeah. step toward the truth. Ching. Rank six. That was an early shing, but yeah. <laughs> Lightly. Since we'll start fresh again tomorrow, each of you decide to go home for today. We got time. Still got time? Good. Good, good, good. I am, however, going to save. Yeah, let's save so we don't have to go through that shit again. <laughs> like that face uh, Naruto made. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, yeah. who are you calling on this? <laughs> 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 face. Uh, over to the TV world with everyone after school. 17 days to the deadline. I'll give it a try, but... If Risei-chan couldn't find him, I really doubt someone with a dried-up nose like me will be much help. Hmm. Better to try. Hmm. Hmm. I 
do smell a dachi baby in here. A dachi baby. But the fog is completely covering up his scent. Teddy, you can't do it either? When you look at me with those eyes, I get this feeling. I've got to sniff him out no matter what. This is my time to shine. Oh, I'm getting something. And he's going Super Saiyan. Oh, shit. Teddy? Like, hmm. Hey, quit wandering around. You better not flake out on us again. Huh? I sense it from this away. Is it Itachi? Um, how do I put it? It's kind of hazy, but at the same time, it feels like I've got a whopper on the line. I don't get it. <laughs> Very suspicious. This definitely smells, but that's weird. If I remember right, that's where Sensei Yosuke and Chie-chan came from when I met them for the first time. When we first... where was that? Oh... You mean that creepy-ass room where all the faces on the posters were cut out? Yep, there's someone there. Teddy, you really are amazing. It was just dumb luck. It's because that's where <laughs> I first sensed Sensei and the others. That's Sense why it kind of smelled over there. <laughs> oh, I see. Wait, did you say it smelled? Wasn't that the room where Yosuke had to go to the bathroom? Oh, yes. And of course she remembers that. Huh? Yeah. You're saying he beat his pants there? <laughs> Ew, I don't want to hear it. Oh, you lie so bad. Dude, I did not pee my pants. She had quit spreading random rumors about stuff like that. Ah, uh, well, it happened so long ago. My memory's kind of fuzzy, you know? Yeah, get you the hell out of here. Okay, guys, enough fuzziness. Follow me, the master of fuzzy logic. You master you of pants. fuzzy logic. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there she goes again. I haven't heard you crack up in a while, Yukiko. Though I really wonder sometimes about your sense of humor. This <laughs> mood has returned to the group, thanks to Teddy. Thanks, Teddy. Teddy. Another, tip, another step towards the truth. Ching again. Yep. Rank seven. They were, they were leveling up so quickly. <laughs> we reached the end of the game. <laughs> I know. Uh. Yep, it's that fucking room again. Yep. Damn. I noticed her first, and she just uh, had to run off and have an affair. Hey, oh, that's look who it up. Oh, it's you guys. You're very persistent. <laughs> that smile. Yep. Jeez. I don't know what you're talking about. You're not lying your way out of this one, damn it! Just being here proves it! Answer us! You're the one who threw Ms. Yamano into the TV, aren't you? It was an accident. She started struggling. What else was I supposed to do? I called her out to the lobby because I wanted to ask her something. And then she started getting hysterical on me. And flashback. Oh boy. Hey, there Who she is. Who are you? And what's this something important you called me out here for? What they say on the news isn't true, is it? All that talk about you having an affair and whatnot, it's all a lie, right? Why do I have to explain myself to you? I see. So you don't deny it. You caught my eye. But it turns out you're another worthless bitch. What's wrong with you? Don't make me call for help. Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! I think you need to see what it's like to fear for your life. It'll get your head straight. 
Then... What are you going to do? Into the TV. <laughs> she fell in. <laughs> wow. So people can go completely inside. So fun fact, Adachi actually has the same voice as the main character. <laughs> That's Good kind of uh no one else was around there in yep. the middle of the night. Plays well, both the hero and the villain. That happened in the lobby? I learned One of the nice little touches that makes this game unique. Rumor. You hear uh. a lot of fishy stories like that on the force. But it was pure coincidence that I touched the screen. Actually, I think the reason power. specific reason why he went with the Dachi is because he wanted right to play something was going to be outside what he usually does. So you tested it out mm. on my Yumi Yama. Because Johnny Young Bosch usually plays a lot nah, of hero it was characters. Nothing like that. I'm uh. a very sincere this fellow. Is something, this right, something unique. The stupid bitch yep. a little for betraying me. Yeah, I like that. Them inside the TV was never the plan. But to be fair, he pulls it off. Mayumi and that dippy high school girl struggled yeah. for no reason. Then you were responsible for Saki Senpai's death. Saki? Oh yeah, her name was Saki Kunishi, or something like that. At first, I just called her in because of work-related stuff. Her being the one who found Mayumi's body and all. And naturally, if there was any chance she'd seen something, I'd need to know, right? So I was all set to be a nice guy to her, and then that bitch. What's this about anyways? Didn't you call me in for more questions? Well, we'll get to that. But you know, I saw you this afternoon. You were getting pretty cozy with that Namatame. <laughs> what? Huh. So I'm not good enough for you. Well, I know how to deal with girls like you. No! And into the TV. God, these high school girls today. This world's gone straight to shit. When I was in school, I wasn't allowed to do anything but study my ass off. I was supposed to be the best of the best. And instead, they stick me in the boonies. But I guess I got the sweet power to make up for it. <laughs> Life's not so bad after all. Get on your knees and beg, and maybe I'll let you out. <laughs> yeah, like that'll happen. <laughs> As if I'd walk into a death trap like that. Hmm. It was a lot easier the second time. High school girls are thinner, you know, lighter. <laughs> you Lightweight. Son of a bitch. Come on, give me a break. I didn't know it was dangerous inside the TV. It's not like I was trying to kill them. I mean, I'm sure they hit on Namatame, not the other way around. The council secretary will one day rise to public office himself. Mayumi and that high schooler were just gold digging. They got exactly what they deserved. I didn't do anything wrong at all. Shut the hell up! You knew from what happened to Mayumi Yamano that people die in here! <sighs> so what if I knew? Hmm. Nah, he called the police in the middle of the night, just after they found that Saki girl's body. The rest of the force had their hands full with the double homicide, and it happened that I was the one who took the call. Dun, Namatame dun, said dun. the police refused to take him seriously. Right. You were responsible for that then. Oh, quite the contrary. If anyone else had taken the call, sure. But I actually did believe him, you know. <laughs> because you knew about this other world. Yep. Huh, that's the pattern to the two deaths so far? And now you're seeing a girl in a kimono on that weird program, and you think she'll die too, is that right? Naratame-san, do you seriously expect us to believe something like that? But, but it's true! If there's any way the police can protect her... Listen, there's no way the police are going to make a move based on a fantasy story like that. 
does sound interesting, though. B -b but Oh, then. I have an idea. If you really want to save her that much, why not do it yourself? Like, you could shelter her somewhere. Some place where no one could find her. Where no one could find her? Save her yourself. You can do it. I'm busy, so I'm hanging up now. Bye. That's where you got the idea. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Isn't that amazing? Of all the people who could have received Namatami's call, it ended up being me. Talk about luck! All I did was give him a little push, and he completely <laughs> bought into his vision of this world. The more people you guys saved, the more he'd kidnap. Both sides had the best of intentions, so the game of cat and mouse would never end. <laughs> it was awesome. You gotta be shitting me! Why? What reasons could you have for doing that? <laughs> reasons? None, really. I could do it, that's all. And it was fun. I guess that's my reason? You murdered people just for the fun of it? Come on. All I did was put people in here. I didn't murder them. And Namatame did most of it. I had nothing to do with any of you. You're just dodging the blame! Yeah? Then how would you prove it? He put people inside TVs? <laughs> you think the police are that stupid? Yeah, what yes. a jackwad! <laughs> I do admit, though, I never thought you guys would manage to track me down. I like that. Games like this gotta have surprises or they get boring fast. It's like when I dealt with that Kubo kid. That was fun, too. Hmm. Then, you mean to say that Mitsuo Kubo's disappearance was your doing as well? I did sense something odd in his course of action. If he had special powers and wanted attention, why resort to a regular copycat crime? But that wasn't the case. Kubo had no such powers. In fact, he was thrown in by you. Am I correct? It had been a while since I last put someone inside the TV, so I really got a kick out of that one. Why did you do that? And how come Mitsuo didn't say anything about you? <laughs> you think that didn't occur to me before I did it? Come on, I'm a detective. I led him through to a room at the station with the TV, switched off the lights, and did it quick while he was still startled. As long as he didn't see me push him in and no one else did either, no one would believe him, even if he survived. Of course, I don't think the Kuba kid ever figured out what happened. <laughs> Wait, the police station? Yeah, he turned himself in pretty quick, actually. This was back when we didn't even know enough to issue a search warrant. But the other officers decided it was just a prank, so they pawned him off on me. I didn't blame them. I mean, a kid coming and saying, I did it all, it was me. Who'd believe him? But it looked bad. I didn't think anyone would come forward and take the blame for all the incidents. The police were desperate to pin it on anyone. If this kid really did it, they might have announced the case was closed. And if that happened, Namatama would stop saving people. I couldn't let that happen, or the game would be over. That's why I told the others I sent him home. I came up with the idea to put him inside the TV on the spot. The game would be over? You threw him in just so your fun wouldn't end? You gotta have some excitement in life, don't you agree? But then you guys put your foot in it yet again and ruined my fun. Thanks to you, Kubo was arrested again, and everyone acted like he was the true culprit behind it all. <sighs> Couldn't they see how badly he copied the crime scene? It worked out in the end, though, because good old Namatame kept saving people. I guess the guy started to develop some kind of messiah complex, huh? <laughs> what an idiot. This is all a <laughs> game to you. How dare you murder people? Murder Saki-senpai for such a stupid reason! You bastard! I'll never forgive you! You can keep your forgiveness. Our world will probably become just like this place soon enough anyways. Didn't you notice? The fog's leaking out. Everything on that side's pretty much screwed. The two worlds will merge soon, and then there'll be no difference. No sides anymore. What the hell's he talking about? This isn't his real body. The real Adachi is somewhere else. 
But this guy feels different from an ordinary shadow. It doesn't seem like he's going berserk. <laughs> wow, you can tell that much? This me is just around to greet you guys, and thank you for wasting your time by chasing me in here. I'd say this world has taken a real shine to me. I feel like it's giving me everything I've ever wanted. And the monsters don't attack me at all. Maybe they can tell we have the same goal. The Shadow's goal? By the end of the year, Inaba will disappear completely into the fog. Soon, this place will be reality. I'll be in this world, so if you want me, come and get me. This world has a mind of its own. We'll see which of us it favors. Keep your bullshit to yourself. It's about time you shut the hell up. We'll finish this right now! Idiot. Swing and a miss. What a chump! Didn't I just tell you the real me is somewhere else? I'll be expecting you all. We'll put an end to this. Get back here, you uh! That stuff about the world's mind and how this place will become our reality. Was he serious? The rest of his confessions were consistent. We'd best proceed under the assumption that it's no lie. It felt like he's gained some strong power after coming here. Not only that, maybe he got taken over by that power. So what he said about the two worlds becoming one, that's really gonna happen? Didn't he say that it would happen by the end of this year? What Christmas happens Eve, then? Exact. I think oh. he means this world will engulf the human world. The people in town are acting weird. Well, Christmas Eve was the when last free day. The that emerged from people went berserk. Yeah, free, quote, if the unquote. fog gets even thicker, and this town is completely shut off from the outside world, then the other side might become full of shadows, like over here. You mean everyone's gonna turn into shadows? Damn it! Damn that bastard! Why? We went through so much to get here, and now it turns out he was pulling our strings this whole time? Been played like a damn fiddle. <laughs> Let's end this. Yeah. It's about time we finished this. I don't want to feel this way ever again. Oh. <laughs> We can take now. I sense Adachi's presence from that direction. He's taunting us. Bring it on! Let's go kick his ass right now! Easy boy. Wait. I suggest we prepare ourselves first. We can't let him right. stab us in the back ever again. We must face him with all the power at our disposal and defeat him without fail. I'm a little worried what he means by the end of the year, but now's not the time to freak out. Let's get prepared. Let's get over prepared and leave footprints all over his stupid smug face. Sounds like a plan. Oh, yeah. By pooling all your strength, the path to the truth has been opened. Ching. Rank 8. The unexpected true culprit has finally been confirmed. Before the end of the year, this town will be swallowed by the fog. You must finish things before then. Resolve to be fully prepared before facing Adachi. I'm gonna save here, and we got it in the video because we're over time. Thank you guys so much for joining us. If you liked this video, leave a like and a comment. If you want to see more, hit subscribe and the bell, and we will see you guys next time. Yes.